Pile Up, box by box, is described as a family-friendly, cooperative 3D platformer. Spread across four different worlds, you can play by yourself or work with friends to navigate these cardboard worlds. Solve puzzles, help friendly citizens, and enjoy some fun arcade games, all while piling boxes up. You control a cardboard box character in Pile Up. This box can run, jump, dash, and carry all sorts of box objects throughout the four different levels. The gameplay is simple and easy to learn, and there is no punishment for failure. Each world is separated into room-sized sections that have you collecting little golden boxes and rings, as well as solving puzzles to help other characters in the game. Each room is a small puzzle where you use the various different boxes around you. Your character can pick up, move, and place the boxes anywhere in the stage, and this is where the main gameplay loop comes in. You can stack the boxes and then use them to help solve each puzzle. This can be as simple as stacking boxes to make stairs, allowing you to progress further, to more complex things like using a frog-shaped box that when you jump on its head, shoots out its tongue and pulls you to a distant platform. Each world introduces different types of boxes with their own unique abilities, which keeps the gameplay fresh and the puzzles rewarding. You have standard cardboard boxes that can be placed to activate switches or used to jump on and get you to higher places. Springs that bounce whatever's placed on top of them, whether that be you making you jump to a high place, or another box. Frogs that when you step on their head shoot a long sticky tongue out that pulls distant objects to you or can bring you to sticky walls. Pumpkin shaped boxes that explode after a few seconds breaking and revealing new paths, as well as fire extinguishers that let you put out flames and reach otherwise inaccessible areas. Each new mechanic is introduced slowly, and there are many ways to solve each puzzle, especially when you play in multiplayer and you can stack on top of each other's heads and move around. As mentioned, there are four different worlds, all connected by one large hub world that you can explore. Each is littered with collectibles that if you get all of them, you can unlock different outfits for your box characters and open special pathways in each world letting you unlock a time trial mode. Each world also contains a unique arcade machine that, if you find, unlocks a playable arcade game in the hub world when playing with friends. None of the puzzles were too difficult, and there's no penalty for failing. You can reset the rooms to their original state at any time should you fall off the map or lose a box, you immediately respawn, ready to continue. Your first time through, each world could be completed in about 40 minutes, depending on how thoroughly you're looking for collectibles and how fast you can solve the puzzles bringing the full game to around 4-5 to five hours to complete. That being said, with how many collectibles there are, as well as the time trial mode, there's plenty to bring you back to play more after completing it the first time. Pile Up Box by Box's music is light and fun. Each world has their own tunes that suit the game really well. Sound effects are what you'd expect and there's no spoken dialogue. Overall the sound design is great and fits the style of the game. Pile Up's graphics are cute and full of charm. The levels are varied with different themes and scenery, and the cardboard box look works really well. It's colorful and made for the whole family to enjoy. Each world looks unique enough to stand alone, and while there are a few other characters in the game, each does have their own personality. The levels themselves are not too large, with each room being able to fit on screen easily, making the couch co-op experience really nice since you're not fighting for camera control. Pile Up does include a Platinum Trophy, with 37 other trophies to unlock throughout your time playing. At the time of recording, I have not achieved the Platinum yet, as I still have a few collectibles to find and to speedrun the game. Most of the other trophies are easy and will come naturally in your playthrough, although there are some tougher trophies like scaring every spider in the game or stepping on every squash in the game. While these aren't difficult, these trophies require you to pay very close attention throughout each room for these specific tasks, and there are no indicators to track if you've missed any which makes this a bit more challenging. Because of these types of trophies, as well as having to beat the game in under a certain amount of time, getting the Platinum Trophy may take you longer to get than beating the actual game the first time. Pile Up is a fun, simple, and relaxing game that can be enjoyed by yourself or with a few friends. The simple puzzles and changing mechanics will keep you engaged throughout your time playing, and the added bonus of mini games to play with friends and things to collect give you reason to come back and play the game again. I was genuinely surprised at how well the game and puzzles work when playing solo or with friends. While admittedly, it does get a little easier with multiple people, as long as you're not trying to sabotage each other. But hey, your friend wanted to go for a swim, right? I would definitely recommend Pile Up Box by Box to anyone looking for a relaxing and mildly challenging 3D platformer. 
The puzzles are fun, the graphics are cute, and it really is fun for almost all ages. Having so many collectibles can be both frustrating and rewarding as it gives you more reason to play it again and again while you search for those final few items. I give Pile Up a 7 out of 10. Thank you to Handy Games and Seed by Seed for sending me a review copy of Pile Up on the PS4, and thank you to everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video or want to see other reviews of games and tips for getting trophies, please consider subscribing as it's free and it really helps me out. Right now, more than 80% of people watching haven't subscribed, so hit that button. Thanks again, and as always, happy gaming.